Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. <laughs> Welcome to is Drinking that, Bros. Is that the news. sound effects? It is. is. That, it, are, did we like lose budget for music? No, we actually paid somebody to write what, that song, and that Ross was, has just been doing that it. That is Hans oh, Zimmer, man. actually. Hans Zimmer wrote I don't, that. Theme. Why, I, I'm not sure if that was That's Hans Zimmer. No, it was. It cost Lloyd a, Webber. It cost one hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars. Yep. That is Hans Zimmer. Uh, oh, who did man. That. Well, at least you got that one. At least yeah. you got that one. He's this on is a Cameo, fake news. Yeah. which is We're crazy. News. <laughs> We're news. There's a lot of people on Cameo. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, I got uh, a good message from Cameo. <laughs> we are uh, doing the news today. We're newscasters today. Yes. You know? It's a change of pace. We're very professional. We're, you have a nice jacket on you. It's very slimming on you, Jared. Oh, thank you. You Is know, it? I've been I've been putting uh, I've been wearing garbage bags in the evening when I sleep. Yeah. Sweating Ooh, it out. Smart. Sweating smart. it out. You're going to oh, like is that, the way It's you for look. sweating? Oh, I just like the feel of, you know, just yeah, yeah. naked plastic. Well, well, let me ask wet you this. Plastic what, on wet you? plastic on <laughs> you. What do you do? What do you do with a garbage bag when you wake up in the morning? Oh, I, I keep them. Uh, I have a, I put them in the dishwasher, actually. So you're reusing them. That's yeah, yeah, environmentally yeah, conscious. Yeah, yeah. He puts yeah, his abortions you know. in it. Was that what you were hoping for? <laughs> I was, that, that West trash I was bag? thinking he was going to save the liquid, kind of like a rain you know, oh man, oh, we got like the, Matt's got yeah. the rain there. Matt's got the rain water at his house in Texas. So, yep. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking it was kind of something like that. I don't know what you're into. Can you bathe in your own it. sweat? Is that a thing? Yeah, uh, you can do that. I yeah. would stay away from it. I yeah. would probably stay away from that. You might get some <laughs> weird infection. Um, yeah, that's definitely. A so, mercy. what's on the headlines today? Well, somebody, did did somebody debate recently? Some <laughs> some people debated some other people. Is what I heard. I can't confirm deny that. I heard that. So yet again, the Democrats can't keep their shit in one sock, and they're just oh, fighting boy. with each other. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's what I it don't is. even understand why Elizabeth Warren is allowed to be on a stage like. You are a straight up con artist and a liar. Like you are a liar. She's right. also just Bernie, like, but a less qualified version of him. Yes. Like, look, <laughs> say what you want about Bernie, but he's been in government for a long time. He's been a mayor. He's been a senator and, and now a presidential candidate. He's done a lot of stuff in government. She's been in government for like six years or something or 12 or, or eight years, maybe. Yeah. yeah I get, like and I get a fun number for you, Jared, on, on Elizabeth Warren. Uh, the number yeah. is 234. That's how many yeah. managers she's asked to see in the last six years. <laughs> I've so. got a better number oh for you. One slash yep. 26,000. So one over 26,000. That's how much Indian she is. Ah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so get fucked, Elizabeth Warren. I think that? the yeah. front runner was Marianne Williams. Oh, she's the best. Uh, Marianne Williamson? Williamson, yeah. yes. Yeah. And I am a Marianneac. Yeah, you are. Oh, is that the official wow. fan club nickname? Yep. They have, yeah, it they is. Have a oh. fans it club includes, name yes, it now. includes yeah. wow. me, you're welcome, uh, Goop employees, uh, Kardashians, this is not a joke. Uh, really? Dave Navarro, Alyssa ah. Milano, oh. so I'm in good oh, company. Oh, God, here we go with this. <laughs> I want to blow my brains <laughs> out. I want you to <laughs> help <laughs> me. Yeah. Clear my brow to Come on. Yeah, and Oprah, by the way, is ah. a big endorser, and she is the spiritual advisor to o Oprah. Oak dog, can you give wow. us? A, can you give us a little Marianne Williamson? Oh, who? <laughs> oh, oh, well, I think the American people deserve to have a candidate that goes up in her volume when she talks to you. Okay, wow. and that's what you need. Yeah. I get wow. excited yeah. about little things. Yeah. Yeah, you and know. I think the American people deserve that, Jared. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> not at, Jared, you've no. got Elizabeth. Jared, if, if, back to you. If Alyssa Milano is backing you, like you're out. Come what on, about you're the done. Look, it's a Trump model, by the way. Kardashians and Oprah is backing her. I don't know. I'm just saying. She's speaking out. Of, speaking she's of a, out after this. Speaking she's of, absolutely out. Oh, but yeah, I'm yeah. just she's saying, done. if you were, yeah, go ahead. Speaking of the Trump model, uh, Kamala Harris got hammered. By Gosh. pretty much everybody last oh, yeah. night. And towards the end of the debate, her responses started to become like people were citing her record as attorney general. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, that's just not true. She pulled a Trump. All she, she said was that like, was not true. Nope. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nope. Yeah. No. <laughs> but no. I want to get back to the issue. Sorry. Of, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You, but you, why are you allowed to do that? Like if somebody goes, no, 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 no. This happened while you were an attorney general. And she says, nope. 
The moderator should stop and go strike that note from the record because that's incorrect. Well, no, they did that <laughs> on the the debate, the last debate with Trump, if you remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember who the other guy was. Was it Romney that was accusing him of something? And the guy, the moderator said, actually, that is true. What Trump said, it wasn't. Yeah. But they've done it before, but it's CNN. There's not enough. Here's the thing. The there's there's not terrible. enough time and there's 20 candidates. So you, you would 10. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you would 10 on Tuesday. You would 10 on Wednesday. Yeah. They're going to cut it down to six in September. It was an all out bloodbath yeah. last night. Last Everybody night was... was going after Biden. <laughs> yeah. And then I love it. What, what Biden said at the end, because at the end, everybody plugged their social media or websites to, to get the extra push to try to get mm -hmm. into the final six. Biden just said. Please sign up for me. Uh, text zero three 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 nine zero nine. Not a thing. Not a thing. Not uh, anywhere close not to a any real numbers. Number. Joe, that's too many numbers, my yeah. friend. <laughs> hey, bud. Oh man, Joe. Appreciate yeah. your service, but that so is, uh... what do you guys think? Is is that fucking idiot Beto out yet? Is yeah, he's he done. done. I, he's done. He's done. He's been I, done for a while. We can yeah. say who we so. think it's going to be. I think uh, it'll be Cory Booker and when Biden. do they announce? By uh, the September. Way. Yeah, September. So here's my Aww. here's my list right now. I think it's uh, top six. I say uh, Biden. Uh, your girl in there, Elizabeth Warren. I want to see your manager is in there because she's God. pretty high in the polls. Your girl, Jared. God. Bernie, <laughs> yeah. Kamala, Booker, and then it'll leave one more slot. I think it's going to be Delaney. Oh no! no I, I believe so. that I, I have a chance. <laughs> Del I think Delaney. Yeah, but you know, so like we were talking about before this about uh, Baltimore being a shithole or whatever, yes. whatever sure. was going on. Like they just like t this morning they just released a clip of. Yesterday, or the, you know, Bernie Sanders saying that fucking who's the the congressman out there that they're all trashing, Elijah Cummings. Elijah oh, Cummings, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Bernie's like Elijah Cummings is my best friend, and he works his ass off to make sure Baltimore is a clean place. And then they show a clip of of Bernie from like two years ago going. We walked in a, in Baltimore and it looked like a third world country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's yeah. like yeah. these and, fucking idiots can't keep their fucking no, shit and straight. And everybody on the left has been talking shit to Trump about how he made a comment that everybody or that he walked through Baltimore and it was drug infested. Yeah. And then yesterday, Wednesday on Instagram, he posted a video of Elijah Cummings saying that Baltimore was drug infested. Drug infested. Yeah. Interesting. So I, he he should just post uh, all yeah, but every you know, season of The Wire and be done <laughs> yeah, with it. No shit. That's you know Baltimore. what? You know what fucking blows my mind is the opening statement from Bernie this morning was, "I can't believe we have a president that would call out a statesman." about his city being a wreck. Why the fuck wouldn't you want a president to go, hey, dude, your shit's a mess. You should probably stay off together. the TV yeah. and and stop, you know, all the 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 federal level stuff but until you got your fucking backyard clean. Yeah. There's because a lot of, right well, now you're looking like a fucking dipshit. Well, none of them are like, taking any personal responsibility, and they don't, that's not something that's important to the left, obviously, because... Cory Booker no, said that it was No, they've never taken personal Corey, responsibility. Cory Booker said that entering our country illegally is a human right. Yeah, like what? literally said, yeah. like, no, yeah. dude, that's not how that works. Sorry. No. And in Biden, to his credit, Biden is the only person who distinguished between asylum seekers and people who entered the country illegally all night. Yeah. And he, he had to <laughs> because he's pinned in by what he did with the Obama administration. So he kind of kind of had to. Yeah. yeah. He kind of had to. But he's right. Yeah. Like you don't you, <laughs> there's no human right to enter somebody else's country illegally. Land. Yeah. I mean, that's just not how it works. Exactly. Man. And here's yeah. here was my biggest takeaway out of the last two nights of this debate is no one offered a solution. They just bickered at each other. They've never offered a solution ever. So I, I don't they know. They never how go. Here's here's a way to fix it. Yeah. How, how is anything going to get better for that party? And who's the candidate that that's actually going to come out of this stink shit? And actually go against <laughs> Trump because I got to pick well, somebody. It can't be Buttigieg and it can't be uh, Buttigieg. I'll put in my top six. By the way, maybe I think, I think he rounds maybe. off that top six. But he can't. If you're talking about border security, it can't be him. No, nope. it can't be Booker and it can't be Castro because they all want to decriminalize entering the country illegally. Right. Like, no, dude, you're, that's never going to happen. The only one that has an actual it never plan happen. is uh, Wang. Oh, uh, oh, Wang! <laughs> I'll give everyone a thousand dollars. Hey, you can no, go but yes, thank you. He he yeah. actually said uh, that he made a good point. It's not immigrants that are stealing jobs. Look, if somebody can not speak English, walk here barefoot, and take your job, then you, you didn't deserve. You're it. probably an idiot. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> so that's that's fine. Let's move past that. But he's right. Machines are taking jobs. It's called creative destruction. It's the literally the oldest economic principle. 
when Rome built the aqueducts, the people who got paid to carry buckets of water from the fucking river to the city lost their jobs. Yeah. <laughs> right. And that's when just we created how fucking machines that plowed the fields, spinning, the those spinning people Jenny. lost their jobs. Yeah, the spinning Jenny, the cotton gen, all these fucking technologies for the last 80,000 goddamn years have displaced workers. We just have to figure out how to deal with it. Yeah, by the way, right? big Eli Whitney fan. Love, love the cotton gin. Yeah. Let's go around the horn here and say who you think is going to come out of the Democratic Party. Jared, who do you got? Dude, I mean, I don't know. Who's going, it's, who, it's, who's going against Trump in 2020? I, it's, got, it's Biden, because for whatever reason, that guy's Teflon. Yeah. I, I, like, like, it doesn't matter how weird or creepy it is. They ignore all of it, and they just go, oh, Biden. I think, he's, no, what's I, I think, I mean, I think you're right, and I, and I think it's going to come down to him and Bernie. They're fucking themselves, though. Like, because they have so many of these idiots out there, all you are is chipping away by 2 to 4% a piece. You know what I mean? So when you put Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, uh, Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, Cory Booker, like you're just you have a bunch of people that are diehard about these people, so you're just splitting it all up. Correct. Like, <laughs> yeah. who, do you, who, do you, who do you got? Dan? Here's what's going to happen: Biden is going to get the nomination, mm -hmm. and all these other clowns are going to drag him and the and the policy so far to the left that they're just going to get fucking creamed. Yeah, that there's it's yeah. Just, people don't have any appetite for progressivism right now. Yeah, there's too much. The, the economy's good and there's too much other shit going on. Like Beto, Beto said that he wanted to waive fees for immigration, stuff like that. Yep. Uh, whatever. I mean, look, it's not that much money and good immigrants do help the economy. That's demonstrably true. But in addition to that, he said to stop the wave of immigration, the illegal immigration, he wants to go, quote unquote, help those Central American countries. You mean war, no. Beto? Yeah. No. Because there's no. dictators down there, fuck. motherfucker. That's why yeah, they're leaving. You dumb fuck. Like, no. You're going to fight. If you want to fucking like, suit up, kid up, and go down there and fight those guys, be my guest, motherfucker. But yeah. send my yeah, buddies lead down the there. way. Lead the way, yeah. King. Yeah, like, exactly. You dumb fuck. fuck. Get out of here. Uh, but I like how you changed your name for today's show uh, to your Spanish name. It's Donato. Donato, Donato yeah. 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 Donato Just call Holloway. him Robert. Robert O'Rourke. Robert O'Rourke. Let's, <laughs> let's be real. Let's not buy into this fucking rebrand bullshit. No. Fucking Mr. DUI, like fucking fuck him. He's yeah, it's a the, fucking turd. It's the whole. He's left. a weak. He's a weak fucking turd. He is a weak turd. A soft yeah. turd. Speaking of yeah. weak turds, hang on, Jesse. Who do you got coming oh, out of the Democratic uh, oh, Party? That's I all have I was a, gonna say. Oh, do you got Williamson? A woo woo cuckoo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> woo woo cuckoo. Could you imagine? I have a her woo woo and cuckoo. Her? Yeah. Oh my god, I would love it. No policies, no real action, just like speaking. To their exact just, crazy base, and I love it. So. Yeah, just just thin air. Next top story, uh, Ben Shapiro and Jared Agree, Don Lemon sucks at his job. This this has got to be the greatest day of your life, Jared. Yeah. You've I hated Don not Lemon really, since birth. Because, because uh, what, uh, yes, I've been saying this forever. Anybody that's ever watched him say anything, you wonder, you only got your job to be the fucking like the to, to be the token minority on the fucking show the the gay black guy yeah he's a that's it's like that's the only reason you're on fucking tv is so they can fucking balance it out or claim that they've got fucking equality or whatever the fuck you well, want to say either, it's either he that is not, or it's either that or he like they just want to go hard left Right? Everything yeah. he says is so fucking stupid yeah so stupid and it's not even it's not even reality it's like you could be like, you know, oh, you know, the, the, the wall in El Paso has really helped out against the, the Juarez cartel. He, and Don Lemon would be like, yes, but how great would it be if there was no wall there? Yeah, like, how great I'm would sorry, it be what? if we lived in a fucking utopia, <laughs> You Don. fucking yeah. dumbass. Yeah. Like, you're just an idiot. So, so Sh what Shapiro did, called so him out yeah. for just being clearly biased. And he was like, look, yeah. dude, if you want to run for office, just get your ass on stage and run. Otherwise, shut the fuck up. Did Don Lemon respond? I haven't seen it yet, but this is, this is the exact quote from Shapiro. This is on his podcast yesterday. He said, Don Lemon is terrible. Let me just point out that Don Lemon and CNN, who helped moderate this de debate, is are awful at, at their job. The fact that he is considered an objective journalist is ridiculous. It's just insane. Don Lemon is fine calling Trump voters racist. They don't care if the president is a vicious bigot, quote unquote, so long as they get their tax cut. That's what Lemon said. What journalism uh, from Don Lemon? And he said, what a great objective journalist he is. CNN, the most trusted name in news. What a joke. 
Oh, boy. Dan, the excitement level that you read that at. Uh, I mean, I was riveted. I'm having to back down from how excited Ben Shapiro is. Yeah. It uh, evens it out. I, I like Ben. Look, it's, I'm, I, love, I love Ben Shapiro. Yeah. Uh, Don Lemon needs to, you know, he, yeah. he needs to, to, to. He said, what a joke. Yeah. Well, what, what, what a joke. What He's a joke right, that guy though. Is. He's right. It's like so fucking stupid, man. Yeah. I, look, it, it, it's he's it's just gotten blatant so about it. Fucked, yeah. Uh, over at CNN these days, and it's all about ratings. So here's the deal with CNN: they had to make a, a hard choice, uh, probably about seven or eight years ago, because yeah. the ratings were going down the shitter. They could not be no longer a news network that was objective. They had to choose a side and go for one side of the ratings or the other because they were two down the middle, and it was a lot of uh, Anderson Cooper in, in a fucking hurricane footage. Sure. There wasn't enough hurricanes mm-hmm. for yeah. CNN to maintain <laughs> their ratings. So what they did collectively as a network, and they hired uh, Zucker, mm-hmm. uh, who was the, the old uh, NBC boss mm-hmm. over there, and they said, hey, guys, we've got to go for either left or right. Fox is already taking the right. We've got to take the left and go all in on this. Yeah. Here's the problem. Trump won. And the reason why that's a problem for a network like CNN is they don't have that excitement on the Democratic side. They don't have a candidate that's that loud or that exciting. Therefore, their ratings are going down the fucking shitter along with uh, uh, Rachel Maddow, a little, uh, what do you call her, Prince Valiant? (laughs) <laughs> little little little, uh, little boy blue, yep, Lord yep. Farquaad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's got that haircut going on. Yeah, as an advertiser, honestly, I would not want to advertise on CNN because uh, I, I'm sorry, I wouldn't want to. I would rather advertise on a on a channel that's far one side or the other because the demographic is more clearly spelled yeah. out. Correct. Like people who are just looking for news, if that's what CNN wanted to do, it's such a mixed bag of people, you wouldn't be able to advertise to them efficiently. Yes. So it makes sense yep. to and, do that. And, I mean, it's and, unfortunate, but it is what it is. And that's why. So, you know, if you look at the major news uh, cable outlets, right? MSNBC said, we're going hard left. Yeah. Uh, CNN said, we're going hard left. Fox has always been Fox. They were the first to do it. So, yep. I, I, and I'm not saying that Fox is off the table here because they look, they invented this shit. Yeah. Uh, but it forced everyone else to take a side. They just happened to take the right side. Wink. See what I did there. And then it, <laughs> they, the gamble paid off with Trump. Yeah, it did. Well, I mean, it paid off with with Bush and then being anti Obama too. Yeah, it, exactly. Like Sean Hannity built his. What career do you think is gonna uh, like? Like, what do you think is gonna happen when Trump gets reelected? Are we gonna see more? of a of a meltdown than we saw when it first happened do you think i don't know to be honest you, you would like, think it's going to be a great question they're they're going to 100 percent try to impeach him at some point i think so as well um, <laughs> but it won't work <laughs> no. because no one none of the leadership on the left and in, in either house of congress really cares to do that like it's just it's distracting so what will happen is they won't get shit done They'll lose midterm elections in 2022, and then in 2024, they're going to have nothing on their record to show why that you should vote for them. Right. And, and the other thing is, is, <laughs> is will they maintain control of the House? Because in 2020, you get to re-vote for the House. Yeah. Um, are mm. people sick of the Omars and the fucking AOCs and all that shit? They that have they, to be. That they go the out real and vote Republican. Well, you know, MLK used to say that riots are the voice of an oppressed people. Like, that's how you... Like if you can't, if you're, if people aren't listening to what you say, you have to take action next, right? Right. That's just it's an escalation of force, basically. It makes sense. Um, and I got to tell you, white people who are just going about their lives and living their lives and just trying to fucking build a better life for their family, support their country, and whatever, are getting a little tired of being called racist just because they woke up white that morning. Yeah. yeah. And yes. there's gonna yes. be a there's gonna be to a that. big tipping point. Yeah. There's yeah. gonna be a review. I'm not, like, I'm not you know saying what? there's gonna be violence from white people. That'll never happen because. That's just who gives a shit about that. Well, I mean, there will be some assholes, but not like in mass. But people are going to start rejecting progressivism, even the parts of it that might make sense because it's couched in all this other stupid bullshit. Like you have to accept their premise that whiteness is intrinsically evil before you can agree with any of their other shit. And nobody's going to do that. Right. Sixty five percent of the country is not going to do that. No. And you can't win elections that way, friend. Sorry. Yeah, uh, and I think a lot of people uh, might sit this election out, by the way. I, I only vote for myself anyway. I know you do, Dan. <laughs> uh, we all know Just you do. Just making a difference. But I, Just I, out I, here I, in the streets. I have a feeling, because you, with Trump, you know what you're getting out of Trump, right? Yeah. Let's, let's say it is Biden, and everybody's correct on this, this panel, yep. right? We've seen Biden for 50 years in politics. What is, 
what is so different about him this time around that's going to get people out of their fucking houses to go out and vote? I just don't, I don't Nothing. see it. And if young people no, don't vote, don't Democrats don't win. Like if, if college kids don't vote, Democrats don't win. No. That's how it works. And, and he'll, he'll be what, 79? I think, you know, also too, I think this will be a very rude awakening that a lot of these loud celebrities will realize how little power they have. That's what I want. Yeah. How little, how I little, want to list them a lot how little influence like, they. I thought they would have, have learned that lesson uh, a couple years ago, but they didn't. No, it takes a no, long time. The less, the yeah. lesson they should be learning is that if they get involved in local politics instead of national politics, they can make a difference. Like if, if <laughs> Alyssa Milano starts stumping for ca- progressive candidates in California where she lives, mm-hmm. she will make a lot bigger dent than she will ever make talking about the president. Yep. Be- because eighty yeah. percent of the country doesn't give two fucks about what she has to you say. You gotta act yeah, locally. Yeah, but that's yeah. like hard. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Right? Think globally. Yeah, yeah, you gotta act locally and think globally. You know, that's, <laughs> that's what my third grade teacher always said. Sure. Uh, she also said, "I've got a little something uh, on my dress. Can you stick your hand up it?" So, man, uh, that's hot. Your third grade teacher said that. Yeah, she had to. What she look like? I was I was a taller boy, so I looked a little older. Um, I yeah, was. I said, "What she look like? Not you. She look you like fucking yeah. vain asshole." Here's the thing: I was seven, <laughs> but I looked ten, and I think she knew that. Uh, she was a she was a bigger gal. Uh, oh wow! Mid sixties. Now you're ruin. Now you're ruining this. No, it's still good. No, yeah. but she had Elizabeth no. Warren. No, I'm neck. out. She had I'm a out. very smooth Elizabeth Warren neck. He heard sixty, and he's out. Oh, yeah. he had he. Yeah, she had the, do you the think, Warren neck. Do you think Warren's got a bunch of neck folds pinned to the back? Something, dude. Because I've never seen the back of her head before. Do you think she still? Do you think she still gets laid? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, she gets slammed all day. <laughs> yeah, you think? Oh God. <laughs> I bet you know you know where I bet she gets oh, slammed. Yeah. Is she married? In her butt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you haven't seen married? those you haven't seen those cringy campaign videos she made where from she her does, house. She does like with a beer. I'm gonna yeah. grab a beer. I'm, I'm drinking. I'm a common folk. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm one thirty two thousand. Yeah. 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 She. Uh, she what? does. Let's is she talk. married though? Yeah. Is she yeah. married? Yeah. yeah. She's married okay. to a little big running bear, and uh, they sleep in a teepee what? out in the yard. <laughs> um, but you know where you know where she should be sleeping is in a ghost bed from ghostbed.com. Um, forward slash drinking bros that's Bo-ammo. right we've got some sponsors who put this whole shit wagon on the air ghost wonder, bed yeah. is, is the finest in the land and if you're elizabeth warren out there uh i hope you're married to somebody who's a military or first responder because you get 15 percent off when you scroll down to the bottom of the page yeah, yeah you get, do yeah get yourself a mattress quit getting be- boned out in a teepee in a wigwam yeah in a wigwam <laughs> I bet, I bet she goes down to Georgia, puts a little red clay on her face, and uh, oh dear, here we go. Really gets here wet. Here we go. What, Jared? Uh, nothing. Nothing. It's ghost bed. You know, it's a ghost bed. You can poke her harness or poke my harness. Either way, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros and get poked on something today. Mattresses, pillows, sheets, you name it. Uh, they've also got a thirty-six months pay as you go program. No one's offering that, especially with no interest. That's right. You could be poor as fuck, have no credit, go on, get yourself a nice king, stretch her on out. Uh, I bet you a bunch stretch of homeless people do it. Stretch her on out. Yeah. The homeless in California actually sign up for it and get a, get a mattress. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's not pretty true. Decent. No, yeah. that's, that's true. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Yeah. 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 Can't yeah. deliver underneath uh, an uh, underpass. That's, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> yep. uh, although it does come in a nice cardboard box with some plastic sheeting so they could build themselves a little... A little shelter. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Give me shelter. Why are we talking whammy. shit to homeless people? What We're happened not. Here? We're They're not. not listening. No, but they, yeah. can, they can sleep in comfort at ghostbed.com. <laughs> no, no some of them got that gross. Obama phone, and that's an iPhone. <laughs> like, God damn right. They can We're, we're going to become the, the podcast of homeless people everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. If oh, you, my gosh. That's our demographic. If you have, a, okay. if you have, if you have an Obama phone mm-hmm. and a ghost bed, you're good yeah. to go. Our, our sponsors are like, hey, your uh, customers keep sending in wadded up ones and and paper. Yeah. We do What's live that? shows <laughs> on Skid Row. They just wrote the word Bitcoin oh, on a piece of paper and then turned that in. Uh, <laughs> has anybody tried that yet? No. <laughs> no. Not no. yet, but uh, maybe we can try it on you because you're the owner of, of our next company, BlackRifleCoffee.com. What do we got going on at BRCC these days, Jared? Oh, you know what? Right now, the summer big frigs are big. It's our big, it's mm-hmm. our big old uh, summer cups. And uh, they're big steel double, you know, oh. yeah, double wall. Yeah. 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 The double wall, the fucking nice. They, they literally like cold. I go to sleep at night with with ice and I wake up with ice. So, I mean, they're they're pretty solid. And okay. uh, and we're talking about the, the cup. Yep. You use the code uh, summer dog right now. It gets you get you a little discount off 20 percent, right? 
Uh, I think it's 15. I don't know. I, I'd have to find out. Ah, I know it's a discount, though. Cool. It's a discount. <laughs> cool. Summer Dog. That's the one of them. about fake news. We don't have to. We don't yeah. have to tell you the facts. Yeah. We yeah. don't even have to tell you the truth. You're lucky we're even here yeah. right now. <laughs> I, I can only put about 15% of my cock in that cup. Uh, <laughs> next up. Uh, and then we also, real quick, we, oh, we yeah. also oh. released the sh- the shorts. We released Oh, yeah. Those mm. are fucking great, The club great, members yes. only right now. Club I showed, members. I actually, got to join the club. On uh, Tuesday for the live sports show, I showed everybody the, the new club homepage. Yeah. Like where you can get, you have access to fucking exclusive products and all that bullshit. Yeah. What I didn't show them is all the the extra deals you get from other companies. Like yeah. Kill Cliff, which is one of our sponsors we'll get to in a sec. Yep. And all these other companies. When you sign up for the coffee club, you get access to that page, and there's like I think there's 48 companies where you get anywhere from 10 to 20 percent off. Yeah, just by being a Black Rifle Coffee Club member. Yeah, it, it, a Sweet. lot of deals going on there. Those board shorts, yeah. man. I wanna, I wanna put board my, shorts are amazing. I wanna put my Andrew Huang in, in a pair of those. Put your brethren in yeah. there. Put my brethren in there. You know, I call my dick, dick and balls my brethren. Dick balls and taint. My, the whole my area. brethren. That's what I call no, it. I, I did not know that. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's fine. I, yeah. I don't know why we needed that. Information. You do now. Well, uh, you know, we got. It. And then Kill Cliff is back. We're gonna do a soft launch. Usually, I go getroman.com hard launch. Yeah, but I'm I'm going soft launch. No, so Kill Cliff, Cliff, you guys remember helped uh, fund the uh, Range 15, Range yeah, 15. movie Range 15. Yep. I think they sponsored the show for a little bit. Now they're back. They've got their Ignite and their Recover, which are you know products for pre and after you know pre working out, pre workout, after workout. Yeah. Here's the here's the thing I want to say about Kill Cliff, it's and this is this is the end all be all of why we're back with Kill Cliff CBD. Yep. They are having CBD infused drinks, twenty five fucking milligrams yep. in a can. So it's this. That's nice. Those it's, are it's the recover. Sell the fuck out. It's dude. the recover That's formula. Great. It's the That's recover great. formula, and all they did was add twenty five milligrams. So it's got fifteen calories, no sugar, no carbs. Twenty five milligrams of CBD in a single can, and they named it Ooh. Orange Kush. In- no way. Instead of, <laughs> instead of orange, of instead of orange crush, oh. they went orange Kush, which is a like great it. little nod. I love those solid, guys. Solid, oh, solid. I love you so and Team R and the guys. Yeah. So we we just got a couple test cans because this is going to launch. Uh, what next month? I believe uh, they ship on August twelfth. Ooh, yep. Coming up. Yep. Um, I'm gonna you, you and can I pre-order right now. Yeah, you and I got a couple cans, yep. and uh, we're gonna. We're going to get wet on those tonight and test yep. out that CBD. Yep. So that way, when we come back on the show next week, yep. we can tell you how we felt. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you and man. Dan are going to get wet on that? Yep. Going to get wet together. Okay. And uh, try to find okay. a hole. We're going to do, C- we're gonna do right. CBD body shots. Yeah, we are. Okay. I'm going to drink some CBD out of the small of his back. So, uh, out of my brethren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You can go to killcliffcbd.com right now and check out the product. You can pre-order now or you can wait until it comes out. Whatever. Are they giving do. us promo codes or are they too good for it? We'll, we'll have a promo code later we'll today. Oh, no a way. a soft yeah. launch. It is a soft it's launch. a soft launch. Come I, on. I, I know. Jared, Jared, that's Jared's entire life is a soft launch. Soft launch. <laughs> Oh, stop. Failure to launch. No, we sent him some. Actually, some dude DM'd the, uh, the Drink It Bros Facebook yeah. earlier today and said, hey, guys, uh, you sent me. Uh, I bought some Roman on your advice. I don't have ED. Oh, wait. Can I, can I read you this? Because yeah. I saved this email, and I want to read this to the audience. Oh, this, this is, is from the guy? This is from the guy. Yeah. This is the funniest shit yeah, I've ever so read. Funny. I was in tears. I was laughing With so my hard. mother in a bank this morning, and she's like, what's so funny? <laughs> and I had to explain it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say his name, Colin yeah. Taylor Dreher. Yeah. Uh, it's spelled like Dr. Dre. <laughs> Dreher. He hmm. said, well, I tried out Roman. <laughs> I've had a hard on for the past three hours, <laughs> fucked my wife twice, and my dick won't stay soft. I didn't even need boner pills. <laughs> But you guys <laughs> talked me into it on the podcast. <laughs> Ellipses dot dot dot. Thanks. My wife is really fucking mad at me now. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome for that boner. Mad at you? Why? Go to get hey, that's the new, that's the new slogan. Yeah. You're welcome for your boner. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome for your boner or I've got fucking to do. Thank you for my service. You're welcome for my boner. I've got fucking to do. Yeah. Got away, old man. Oh, man. I got fucking to do. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, get Matt's book. Uh, Matt's book is on sale. It comes out in yes, 19 days. 19 Thank you days. for my service. Yeah. And uh, Jared, I want to give you a special shout out because uh, Matt and I did a show on Monday together. And he said you guys were hung over in an airport and you actually picked the new name of his book. I did. 
<laughs> yeah, he, he said that on the show, and he goes, "It's weird, man, because you know we were talking about changing it up, switching up the title. We, I couldn't, you know, figure out what it was going to be." And he goes, "I turned to Jared and said, what do you think it is?'" He said, "You were super fucking hungover, late for the yeah. airport, just about to order a Bloody Mary, and you just turned to him hungover, and we we're just like, thank you for my service.'" Drink came. Brilliant. You didn't say another word to Matt. And Brilliant. Matt was like, yeah, that's the name of the book. And you're like, yep, congr- congratulations. And didn't say another fucking word you know, about it. Now, you know what I was hung up on for a little bit is I really liked unconventional. You okay. know, because I, I, I was thinking, you know, once he had told me that he, he didn't like the original name, uh, yeah. you know, we started thinking about it. And I was just thinking about all the different. You know, the different books out there that are when you start not just merge, you know, you you go away from just a military book, but what the true story of this was. And I really liked Unconventional. Yeah, I look, the other title, too, was fun. Uh, and, and by the way, the reason why we changed uh, Matt Best Freedom the fuck on mm. there was a string in the last three years because this book took three years to come out that uh, the word fuck was in a bunch of titles. Yeah, And you don't want to be like the ninth guy to do something. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, originally, yes, we were, exactly. yeah, originally we were one of the first. And we actually had to fight for that title. And yeah. then, um, you know, the, the subtle art of not giving a fuck came out how to unfuck, unfuck my life. life yeah. it, seemed, it seemed everybody was using it. And we were like, all right, fuck, we got to change it. And the other title was killing bad guys is fun. And the, pub- the, <laughs> the publisher said, Eesh. not a prayer, not one not prayer. prayer. So like, Jared came up with the title. You can thank him. And we'll get into uh, our next story. Uh, Delta pilot arrested and pulled off the plane for suspicion of being drunk. Yeah. 37 year old Gabriel Schroeder of Rose. Suspicion. Yeah. Minnesota. yeah. Well, here's what happened. He he was in the screening line uh, for TSA. Uh-huh. And he. Yeah. Lo- he saw them doing additional screening and left the line, and then he came back for some reason. <laughs> what they think happened, I believe, is that he, like, rinsed his mouth out or cleaned himself up a little sure. bit. Because they expect pilots for sobriety when they're going through the TSA line now. I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I like so it. They were like, oh, that's suspicious. <laughs> so the airport police launched an investigation, which really is just, like, two supervisors saying, like, yeah, we should probably arrest this guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> at any rate, here's the question. Jared, you were in the Air Force. Is flying so easy that you can just do it drunk? Great question. Absolutely. Yeah. So what's the problem? Yeah. I, that's, I mean, that's my, that's, I that's see my, women like, doing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all the time. Got, wait, wait, what? But you see women <laughs> flying drunk? Oh, yeah. Well, flying. it must so, be easy, right? So a yeah. drunk man is... <laughs> Dr- I've seen I've seen a, a female pilot, and I go, well, it must be auto. You know, they must have an autopilot situation yeah. up there. <laughs> so a drunk man, and it makes me feel better. And a, a drunk, drunk man guy, equals sober woman. Um, I think uh, in skill level, yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. I, here's my philosophy on it: is I'll roll this with like music, like I, you know, you do something for so many hours of your life, which yes. even to become a Delta pilot, you have to have at least 6,000 hours. Yeah. Like that's why you don't fly spirit or any of that. Like all their pilots, no, they're they, like they're the people that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they take, they take people right out of flight school. Whereas the big airlines don't sure. like they require you to have, <laughs> you know, experience. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. So, my, so, uh, yeah, you my, do something for so, so many hours flying is very checklist oriented. And when you're drunk, you kind of resort back to your mind just goes into checklist yes, mode. Yes. So I think it's a skill that you can do pretty intoxicated. Oh yeah. Sure. But here's the problem. You can fucking give me a breathalyzer test and tell if I'm drunk. What you can't tell is if I've taken eight Percocet that day. It's true. Which is great. Unless I mean, you do a blood true. test. Which and to be God. fair, like you don't have to stay in any lines when you're flying a jet. No, no, no. Yeah. You, know what I mean? you are the sky. Like, yeah. No or, one. It's not like you're no swerving. Can, yeah. No one can really tell if you're swerving. Yeah. The only I time you stay you in lines is when you land. Better. Right. That's how I you feel. Might, you might fly better because you'll be a little bit more relaxed and you're not so thinking about you know yeah. the 290 people sitting behind you that you're responsible for. So you heard it here not, first, you know. folks. If you're a pilot out there. <laughs> Have a couple of drinks on board. Yeah. Come on, yeah. buddy. What, what we're saying is it's super easy and anyone can do it. Well, look, I watched the Denzel Washington movie. He flipped the whole plane Dude, upside he down. Dude, saved their landed. lives. He was fine. Yeah, and he uh, was he was on coke. Yeah. Yeah. He was doing. He was, he was doing on great. I feel like it would be harder to do. It would be harder to fly on coke than it would be drunk. To be honest. Yeah. Because I would want to touch all the buttons if I was on coke. <laughs> Dead. What's this button do? <laughs> Fuck Just yeah. make sure. And yeah. then I'm spreading out lines on the fucking uh, yep. on the heads up display there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, once once you get that thing up in the air, you're just punching in a couple a couple waypoints and stuff, and it's flying itself. Easiest like, job there is. And you've got a co-pilot. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, so exactly. essentially, essentially, flying an airliner drunk is no different than driving a Tesla drunk. Yeah, a hundred percent. That's what. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I know, you know, I know quite a few people that have said. Oh, the Tesla saved me. Can you? Home. Yeah. Can so you, it's like you can see you, a woman you, walking up there. You see an Asian. You see a drunk guy. It's like it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> yes. What? I'm just saying it's like you're a Tesla or whatever. You know what I'm that, Jared, you know a, what I mean. That actually brings up an inter- interesting question. Self-driving cars, can you still get a DUI? And yes. if so why? How we could you Currently, argue against it? Yes, but I Currently, think they're yes. wor- yeah. They're, yeah, yeah, they're 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 working on it. Uh, but with the pilots, you No, know, you see in my case they were questioning why I was in the back seat. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Why yeah. were you and in the back seat? What you guys seat? were doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just put the Tesla on autopilot, got in the back seat. <laughs> Did you start were you spread eagle jacking or what was going on? Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cuz that would be pretty be. funny. Like there's a lot of porn on on Pornhub now of its people getting banged and fucking yes. self-driving cars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's Oh, a, really? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's yeah. A, that's category. a category. I just I just yeah, decided but the shots aren't good enough to I, even get no, off. No, they're they're bad. Somebody needs to rig the the car yeah. up properly the cameras but i just decided what jared's doing for the rest of the day yeah <laughs> he's gonna be looking for this porn all day we put we planted the seed then he's gonna go buy a tesla tomorrow woman gets fucked in tesla pretty easy search yeah uh, you is. can find it last my last tidbit on that pilot sitch they're already up at the the front of the plane technically that's first class you get free drinks up there come on brother yeah, that makes let sense them have a couple <laughs> let them have that a couple woodruff me. reserves uh the next story is fucking a robot cheating Match.com. No, absolutely not. So Match.com yep. did a study recently uh, on the state of dating in America. There were a lot of findings, uh, which obviously none we actually give a fuck about on this show. No, dating's uh, dumb. But here's, here's what they found. 25% of people said they would fuck a robot, which is a little low in my estimate. Well, that's, half, yeah, of, that is that's half of dudes because it was a big survey. It was more than you need to be statistically relevant. So it was 5,000. It, okay. it was double the usual amount that people do for tests like this. 50, 50% of these people said uh, it would be cheating if you were in a relationship and fucked a robot. Jared, that is, thoughts? That is comple- no, that is completely stupid. If you fucked a pocket pussy, is that cheating too? Yeah. Like how, it's like, I, no, get over your fucking self already. Like, obviously, too, you're not taking responsibility of why someone wants to go fuck a robot because you're being a shitty fucking girlfriend or boyfriend or, or like go. watch them fuck the robot yes yeah, yeah why not why can't that be a threesome like it, on the, the the people's mental capacity that is saying that it's cheating to fuck a robot like we could, we should just get rid of those people yeah, we don't yeah. need them. We don't Wouldn't need them. Wouldn't that work for you, Jared? Genocide. We d- yeah, because uh, if you're that dumb, if you're that dense, or that's your thought process, go somewhere. Here's what else. I think. Here's what go I think. Go to Canada. You know, well, can't, <laughs> what's wrong with Canada's fine? Uh, there's a bunch yeah, of but, snow you know, Mexicans. <laughs> Canada, Canada's, you know, Canadians are super polite and things like that. So yeah, I'm sure like they're everything's cheating in Canada. So yes, yeah, so go go up there. Uh, True. Away. So uh, here's what I think. It was 5,000 people were part of this study. Yeah. I'm guessing it was 2,500 men and 2,500 women. I'm guessing the 25% of people that say they were fuck a robot were all men. Sure. Right. And I'm guessing the yeah. 50% yeah. that said it was cheating were all women. That's well, my guess. <laughs> let's ask Jesse because, look, we're in a relationship. If I fucked a robot and you walked in on it, uh-huh. would you be angry about it? I would have to look at the face and body. <laughs> because if here's my thing and I don't want to say this out loud but if someone <laughs> is if someone is less attractive or fatter than me have at it <laughs> so if it's a hotter robot then I, can't I would get this no. stuff he yeah. bought he bought yeah. the Alyssa Milano version Ah, which, okay, which Alyssa ne- Milano, though? Who's the boss of Alyssa Milano? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or <laughs> now- Whichever version you want. It's your robot. You what if, what it. if it was an identical copy of you? Ah, I mean, cool. Okay. To me, that's like a sister uh, wife no, situation. Wait, They're just sharing the that's load. That's worse. Yeah, you want to know your robot boundaries. That's I'm worse? like, why? It's worse if it's just identical me. That means yeah, what hello. If it was not? What if because it was what's wrong you? with me? What do you mean hello? You can yes, say hello. no, and you do say no. How are no. you? <laughs> like, <laughs> what'd you say? <laughs> I said no. You say you you can say no, and you do say no. So that's why the robot version of you doesn't say no. So at what point? I say can- no to you know some things, but there's a lot of things I do every day, Jared. Every to, day. Yep. To get wow. to get things and people off my fucking back. 
Okay. Wow. You just have a day. Wow. So you're <laughs> okay. You are, you are with sex the way I am with conversation. Every single yep. sentence I say to someone is to get them to stop talking to me. Yep. Yeah. Like I no, make, but I'm I, joking. So wait, you're <laughs> having a lot of sex with people to get them to stop talking to you? Yes. G- uh, Dan is yes. Yeah. No, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, Jesse's doing it <laughs> I, I, just for me to get out of the room. So that I can get ready so I can watch a show. Let me bleed this lizard real quick. You know. Hey. Bleed this lizard. Roman. Jesus Christ. Let me milk this magpie. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, it's 8.30. Time to to milk the old magpie. Get over here. Right. So I guess you're right, Jared. There are some times. So you're saying like during I have a headache time. Then or use, like use you know, the one robot. o'clock in the one o'clock in the afternoon. If you have a robot that you could just go, hey, bend over that couch. Yes, master. Yeah. I guess you're right. You're yeah, right. Yeah, like Sweet. you're 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 busy and you're just like God. Just go fuck the robot. Gosh, man. you know Get what? Yeah. I'm, I'm actually hey, into this. Stop now. touching my hips. Go fuck the robot. <laughs> as long go as fuck the, the robot. does it make Cooking a difference? Dinner, does it make a difference if the robot, the robot has a name or not? Like if it doesn't have a name, if he calls it the Look, robot or if he calls it Karen. If I walk in on them talking. Then I'll be pissed, right? <laughs> <laughs> like having a conversation and yeah. like, yeah, then I'm mad. But if they're just fucking, if she, if, have, what have if, fun. What if, what if he took the robot on a vacation and not you? <laughs> <laughs> You're at home with the kids? He does, Actually, Rager, yeah, it's Rager. me. It's actually me. He takes the, the robot, robot on yeah. vacation all the time. <laughs> like, so so that's a deal breaker. If it's like, that would oh be no, me, hilarious, me and the though. robot are going to go. Yeah. Okay, I, Jared, I take the robot now to you Paris. have to do that. I take the robot to Paris and I just send you pictures oh in my first class. God. Of the robot. Him and the robot. That's like, so but horrible. what about what about the reverse? What if she's got an Anthony Bourdain robot and it's plowing her? Do you mean and you Kurt come Russell? Home? Yeah. Kurt, yeah Russell, Kurt Russell or Brendan Fraser. Or Brendan Fraser or uh, if it's Bree Fraser, not mad. Kurt Russell? Eh, why not? Kind of mad. Brendan Fraser is my have you everything. Yeah, and what if what if she just kept him in the bathroom like it would just turn off and stand there like just naked and you would you, you know you'd be wanting to use the bathroom yeah. and you just see her backing into that thing like <laughs> oh. you're like oh, oh damn God. but it stays it stays there's a charging station in the bathroom and every time you yeah. go in there the Kurt Russell comes alive and starts talking shit about your dick yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God damn, for uh, all of this. Or, now, you got or, me on board, guys. She programmed her version to just remind you how much she uses it. Uh, like, oh so when you're in the bathroom, he's he like winks at you. Stats. No, he's yeah. like he's yeah. like uh, like that movie. She Soldier. came in here this morning. Like that twice. Movie, remember that movie? So- <laughs> remember that movie, Soldier, where he had all the wars he fought tattooed on the left side of his cheek. Ah, yeah. just, There's a heads up display that says how many fucking times they banged. Yeah, recently. yeah. I, look, do I, if I get to pick the Kurt Russell, I'd go Captain Ron. Then I wouldn't be jealous yeah. of it. I go think ahead. that's the best version of Kurt Russell. Absolutely. It's either that or the. It's <laughs> I get a little that, braid on the side. What's the one with Goldie Hawn where she falls over the edge of a boat? Oh, overboard. Overboard. No. overboard. Yeah. Best I would. I, I mean, if overboard. I walked into the bathroom and. Whoever I was with was banging the, the fucking robot in the bathroom. I'd hang out and watch. Yeah, for sure. I know. Nah, yeah. and we're all different, I would have, different people I would on have this a, panel. I would have a nanny cam in there. Like if it's, a, you know, like a child or something, yes. whatever the fuck. I don't know what they're called. Is that it? Nanny yes. Cam? Yeah. Nanny yeah. Cam. I would, yeah, I would have like one that, in there. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, look, here's the rules. It's got to be motion activated. So if you're in there fucking around, it just automatically pops up on my shit. Yeah. And I get to watch the whole time and then do whatever you want. Because okay. honestly, what's the difference between that masturbation and if my fucking girlfriend or wife wants to FaceTime me and masturbate in front of me? Yeah, you're definitely down. I'm going to yeah. watch. All right. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't. Uh, the other the other Kurt Russell I'll allow is uh, Bone Tomahawk, Kurt Russell. You know, that, Give that, it to me. Yeah. That Give big, it to me. Dirty gray mustache. What I'll, about hateful eight Kurt one. Russell? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, same Kurt Russell, yep. by the way, because yeah. they shot those movies back But to you back. know what I would do is I would definitely, like, uh, when I would come visit, I would switch the head out with, like, the head of a cod uh, on Ross's robot. Oh, so, like, God. he's yeah. all excited to go use it. Yeah. And then he's like, and he's not going to, he's not going to not use it. He's going to be like, oh, but he has to oh, stare at that if you fish could, head. If you could get yeah. in there and reprogram it, too, to do different shit. Like, she's got a Benicio Del Toro. Yeah. And it all it does is rim. Because mm-hmm. that's what she's into, uh, obviously. Remmers. Sure. Yeah, yeah, and that's what Benicio Del Toro is into. He only yeah. does rim jobs. He only does rim yeah. jobs. But if you reprogrammed it to Butt do something stuff. weirder. Ah. And then she shows up. She just turns it on. She expects it to go through the usual motions, but it starts doing other things. Can't, well, I, I will say this. If I, if I walked in on uh, Robot Benicio rimming, rimming you, I'd be okay with that. 
I'd be okay with that. I mean, you and could why? turn it into. Would you, would you, you turn would just it, hang out, right? Yeah. What if no, no, no. Yeah, 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 What if yeah. you turn that into a? What if Robot yeah, Benice yeah, yeah. was fucking jerking off though? If what? While he was what? What if what if Robot Benicio del Toro was jerking off while rimming her? No. Just from a utilitarian cool standpoint, Gosh. there would be no purpose in a robot jerking off. And this is the news show, huh? But you still have to see it. <laughs> well, this, this, we go hard hitting. Okay. We go sorry, hard hitting. Sorry, these, sorry. Are, these are the we're questions. Trying to, we're trying to write we robot sex We're getting to the law. bottom of this. We're answering right questions that people have asked us. And by That's people, true. I mean no one. Yeah. No, I mean no, no one, one asked ask for us. it. And here we go. Speaking of uh, all this crazy bullshit about you guys. A uh, 107 year old Bronx woman says her secret to longevity is not getting married. True, I believe it. I That's believe it too. Very true. I believe it. So yeah. very true. The, I am the going natural to die question: soon. She's 107. Her sister's 102, so I think it's actually genetics. But if she's right, and this is the secret, Jared, how much longer do you have to live? <laughs> Four years. <laughs> You've been married so many times, friend. You've been married a lot. You've been yeah, married. yeah. I'm putting a lot of miles on that heart. Yeah, you. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You've put. Th- You've been married three three times more than everyone on this side of the desk combined. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Is that right? How many yeah. times you've been married? Three. Yeah. Three. three. Yeah. Yeah. He's on his yeah, third. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, don't have three. to get into it, but three. Yeah, three. <laughs> I think you solved it. Um, what I'd like to see with the 107 year old and the 102 year old. Yeah. Just take him to Six Flags for a day. Put him on that new Batman ride. Well, see the what one happens. I actually read about this woman, the 107. She doesn't have. She doesn't. She's not in a wheelchair. She doesn't use a cane. She does all of her own shit. She shopped grocery shops for herself and everything. Really? Like she might be the term. Wow. She may be the Terminator. There you go. Wow. And now or Sam she was. She was. She could be Sam Squinch as well. Yes, yeah, true. Uh, yeah. So yeah. she may have been sent back from the future to eliminate marriage. She's on a quest. Yeah. Ah. And this yeah, is probably but she had to she had to get her she had to get her uh, her, you know, uh, her stats or, you know, she had to she had to show off her why. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I yeah, guess. yeah, yeah. What about the what about the sisters one or two? Is she's married? Yes or no? Uh, she was. Yeah. Ah, so. So ah. it's all. Yeah, I don't think you're because there was that guy who was 108 years old on the Today Show back in the day and Al Roker. Pancakes and pineapples. No, yeah. that wasn't that one. Al Roker asked him what his uh-huh. fucking how what his secret was. And he said, I drink a gallon of Thunderbird wine a week uh-huh. and I eat bread dipped in bacon fat. Check uh-huh. and check. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you heard it here first. <laughs> Folks, yeah, and if you get heart disease, uh, we have a release of liability. I think website. having kids and getting married uh, breaks you down, ruins your body and life, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah, but you gotta like. You also notice that when one spouse dies, the other one goes pretty quick when they're older. It's usually within a year. Yeah. What do you think that is? Honestly, just the, the will to live. Maybe I don't know. I, you know, they always they always That's say weird. they died of a broken heart, um, but I, I, I don't know. I what don't the, know. I don't, I don't know, know about that. That's really gay. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Um, I don't know what the answer is. Speaking of back uh, to the robot sex rules. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to the rules. No. Uh, next story is Jeffrey Epstein. I uh, love that. guy. Everybody's favorite Everybody's sexual slavery pedophile. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, it turns out he was trying to seed the human race with his DNA. He was actually looking at opening a ranch. Uh, called Zorro in, what was it, uh, like New it. Mexico? In New Mexico, yeah. In New mm-hmm. Mexico. And uh, he discussed in the early 2000s, um, and this is what I find interesting, because it says with, with assorted dinners and gatherings, um, his plan to inseminate up to 20 women at one time with his sperm yeah. so he could have all of these children. I, I've, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I think when, this, when he has to go on trial... Right now, they're estimating it's going to be over a million pages of documents that Jesus are going to go on trial. Christ, it's going to expose all of these people. This one thing that Jared's been talking about and I off offline about uh, the Lolita plane, yeah, and the you know all of these fucking Democrats fucking these kids and all this other yeah. shit. I think all of that's going to come to light, and I'd be surprised if he makes it alive to trial. Because well, he's already tried to kill himself. Allegedly. Allegedly. And yeah. when, whenever someone tries to kill themselves and one of the Clintons is involved with him somehow, I'm like, oh, he got murdered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, it's super. If it was one, even two people, but seven now and eight, with, including him. Right. That have died under suspicious circumstances. He's not dead yet, but he did get roughed up in jail or something. He happened. will get, don't you think? He, yeah, he'll get murdered. I mean, but look, it's, al- it's almost sure. too late now. Well, like they're getting super close to it being too late to hide this shit. I, I, and here's the interesting part, again, is, is once these documents are seized yeah. and you have all of these names and all the people that were tied to him, 
no one's safe at that point and it's it, you're gonna find out a lot more fucked up shit of what you can do when you're that rich uh with trading young underage women around and and having sex parties and shit yeah. they were having fucking orgies down there yeah yeah um which, but look i mean like Honestly, and I don't, I'm not arguing for any of this. Like, I think pedophiles should be executed on the spot. But there are some countries like Mexico, the legal age of consent is 14. Yeah. I'm it, not saying it's right. Right. And 150 years ago, you could marry a 14-year-old in the U.S. if you were a fucking 30-year-old man. Again, not saying it's right. I'm just saying, how do, what, what's the law in the books that says you can be prosecuted for something that's illegal here that isn't illegal in the country in which you did it? I'm yeah, not sure. Weird. I'm not. I don't know the legality behind that. So is that's that's are a good people question. are people just going to be shown to be shitbags or are they going to be shown to be uh, criminals? Because there's a big difference between those two things, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, no, I see what you're getting at. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I would prefer someone that that's that's rich that took the opportunity to go over there, especially these kids that are underage and probably uh, orphans, because that's usually who they target to bang fucking fourteen year olds or whatever the fuck. I would like to see all those people lined up and shot all at the same time. Yeah. Same. Great. yeah. But yep. is that something that we could do judicially or does it have to be extra ju- judicially? You know what I mean? Not sure. I, I know, you know, a lot of orphans work in China, um, but not for sex, obviously. And uh, no, I mean, you're, you're talking about like six and seven year olds at that point, though. If you're yeah. talking about the factories and shit. Yeah. yeah but yeah, sexual yeah. slavery is Eastern European women in their late teens mm-hmm. and then Asians from like fucking seven and up basically like it's it that's pretty much the age demographic yeah but what, what i'm talking about with the, with the asian kids too is like there is no age for for what year you can start working as oh well. no they don't give a fuck over there nike, nike doesn't give a shit no um, you know they've been doing it for years so uh with with all of this where do you draw the line i think it's going to come down to because he had them shipped in over the border yeah and i, and I think it's the the exporting if yeah. you will of the fucking kids over here yeah. that's what's gonna be his ultimate down so, so well, yeah some you of the know stuff that, that they, happened domestically they could prosecute for sure yes yeah yeah i mean you know that they started slipping up once they once they went down once they got comfortable hole. yeah 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 for yeah. sure you know they did some weird shit well i can't Fuck wait them. i mean i don't i don't yeah, want this is i don't be... want to hear about this stuff necessarily um uh, and i don't want it to have happened but it did happen and i want it to be exposed immediately yes and i want all absolutely. these shit bags to crash and burn Fuck them yeah that would be great uh, I'm with you on that. Uh, next up, Lisa Marie Presley signed Ooh. a four million dollar book deal uh, for a tell-all about being married to Michael Jackson. Jesse, this is your favorite person ever. She's always hated Michael Jackson from day one. Day one, really? When they got married? Oh no, before she 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 hates all Michael Jackson music. Jesse, me, yeah. Oh, Jesse oh I thought you meant I thought you were talking about Lisa Marie. I was like, really? No, no. <laughs> now, well, she might. <laughs> she, she might have. We don't know what the story was with Who that. Know, shit. Yeah. Why did they but get I, married? I remember vividly like being a kid and being like, this guy's fucking creepy, yeah. dude. I want to know if they fucked. I don't think they did. Same. Pro- I, I don't think so either. Probably not. And I and I she's going to have some things to say about this fucking documentary. And here's what I want to know. After this yeah. book, after this book comes out, it'll probably come out next year, I would guess. If she's just now signing the deal, yeah, because this one's going to get rushed to press. Oh yeah, sure. yeah. It, so it might even be out for, right in time for oh Christmas, no. <laughs> <laughs> right in time for the holidays. Well, after this book comes out and it's another eyewitness testimony from someone. I mean, obviously she's getting paid to do this. Yeah, but after this comes out, is that going to be the end of it? Are are, are the Michael Jackson apologists going to go away at that point? Because there's still people out there that defend this guy, and he clearly raped children. Yeah, on a yeah. regular basis. Jared, you finished that documentary, right? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. You watched the first half, right? The, yeah. se- the second half is where it gets into him Ugh. putting them doggy style and licking their asshole. Yeah. You couldn't I- finish it, I know that's it, graphic huh? and fucked up, but he did it. Yeah. And I think people yeah. need to know what the fuck uh, this guy did. We, I just ended up turning it off and then never got around to like caring enough to watch it again. Because we all know the outcome, you know? Okay. Yeah. 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 That's fair. So yeah, you've you've hated him from from day one. Day uh, one. This this never book will got be interesting because I think you're right with a with a, a credible person like this that'll add to because a lot of people say that oh there's only two guys were incredible. Yes, they were. Uh, one, two. Uh, if it's his wife and they were together, and she was fucking, you know, or she saw him fucking little dudes or whatever happened happened, <clears throat> uh, and she drops that bombshell, it's over at that point. Hasn't she? Ha, I don't know the answer to this question. Has she been called as a material witness in the in the civil cases that any of these other people have filed? Weren't wasn't that after? 
Uh, I believe so. I think they were married, but it was only for a little bit. And I believe that the they were married for were two years, but yeah. they were only actually in the same place for a little while. They were probably but it was in 94, the same room for 94, about an hour. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. 94 to 96 is when they were married. They were married, yeah. Uh, that's a cl- it's close. It's close on that date there. And sh- I don't think she was called. I mean, I don't know, but. I don't believe so either. Um, but I, li- I'd like uh, to call, uh, uh, read it. I'd like to call Nicolas Cage and see yes. how that relationship was. Please. Now I bet that one was fucking crazy because he bought the elephant man bones. Yeah. So, I, and that was full he, circle. He, yeah. He got turned on by Michael Jackson about the elephant man. So maybe, uh, they had a little threesies in there and that would be the end all be all of Nick Cage, Lisa oh, Marie God. Presley and Michael Jackson were boning on the same bed. Or if MJ was making <laughs> Nick Cage get on all fours at the at the there post, there you go, and sticking his tongue in his yeah. fucking asshole. What Whoa. if what if she what if her book exonerates him? Now I don't think that's going to happen because the publisher is saying there are quote unquote explosive secrets inside of it. Yeah. And after everything that's been said about Michael Jackson, what would be an explosive secret at this point? Exactly. You know what I mean? It's got to be something yeah. super fucked up. Like, yeah. like he was banging the monkeys that he owned or something. I, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Bang, if he was banging <laughs> bubbles, that'd be. I'd, yeah. I'd like to read about that. Yeah. I'd like to. Oh, death. dear. Yeah. I'm not a, I'm oh, not a fan God. of animal abuse. <laughs> That's but. where you draw the line, Jared. <laughs> I mean. Bestiality. Bubbles? Bubbles? No, I mean, that's, yeah, it's just weird. It's just <laughs> fucking weird. It's just life is what well, it is. He's a fucking weird. creep and a weirdo, and he always yeah, has we know. been. <laughs> yeah, now we're going to hear even more about it. I hope right. this puts it to bed whenever it comes out. Yes. I mean, they're going to sell. Let probably, it go to sleep. I, I bet they sell 150,000 copies of this book, give or take. Way, like uh, well, way more than that. I'd I'm say. talking about opening week. I think it'll be a fucking bestseller. Oh, I think it'll yeah. sell 100 to 150. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. then, it'll, then it'll be in fucking airports after that, and it'll probably sell what two or three million, maybe. It's not going to go a purpose-driven life, no level, no, which is like twenty-five million at this point. But I think it'll go one or two mil, yeah, on the sales. I, but I think opening week, it's going to crush. I think it'll be a hundred to hundred fifty k. I think it'll be called uh, "Woman Behind the Man in the Mirror." You know what I'm saying? Wow. And then it's just <laughs> yeah. it's like an image of of her standing right behind him, looking in the mirror. What if it's called "If I Did It"? <laughs> and there's a picture of OJ in the background just looking around the corner. <laughs> the three of them hanging out. Oh man! What, what champagne without bubbles? Yeah. And then it's the monkey behind her, and you're just like drinking oh, champagne. Christ. She was actually in a relationship yeah. with bubbles the whole time, oh. and that's how she met Michael. Ah, oh, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you haven't seen comedians and cars getting coffee, the the, the new series just started. Yeah. Eddie Murphy's on there, and Eddie Murphy tells a crazy story about going there, and uh, and they said Bubbles, the the monkey, was fucking crazy, and Michael knew it and was just like, don't don't go near Bubbles, don't don't go near Bubbles, oh, he's crazy, no. and the monkey was just fucking going nuts inside. Did the cage Michael all the go time. around him? Was it just Michael that he was? <laughs> no, they were just like, don't don't. Don't go buy bubbles. Jesus Don't Christ. Don't go buy bubbles. <laughs> oh, and God. That's like, so creepy. Uh, you, so I think creepy. you like the voice. Jared, don't go buy bubbles. Jared oh, likes the voice. Stop. Don't go buy stop. bubbles, Jared. There's nothing Jared likes more than talking about Michael Jackson. Yeah. So let's uh, keep doing no, it. No, let's go back to ro- sex robot rules. Jared. Yeah. <laughs> a, a Michael Jackson sex robot. Jared. Jared, why don't you ride me, <laughs> ride me reverse cowboy? No, 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 <laughs> no, no. That would no. be a good prank to play out. on Get the sex robot, though. Turn it into <laughs> Michael Jackson voice for yeah, Jared. Yeah, dude. Oh. Yeah. And it's no, just, that's what I would do to Ross's. <laughs> over and over again, and it's got a yeah. glitch, and it just keeps going. <laughs> I think over we should. And over again. <laughs> I think we should do some research of our own. I think we need to make a post, and Jared, you should do this. Make a post in Drink It Bros Main and see and ask people, do they think fucking a robot is cheating or not? Yeah, That's, I'll yeah. do a poll. Yeah. I'll do a poll. Yeah, that'd be nice. I would love to see what Drinker Bros think about this. Sam, yeah. we'll do a poll. What are you doing? I'm doing a Biden. <laughs> oh, you're doing a Biden. Uh, you want to grab my shoulders? He just pulled a Biden just, and just stared at Kamala power, Harris. Such a power move when they were debating is he would just go flat, just staring yeah. right at her. Profile, full profile right she at her. She started sweating. Yeah. Couldn't. It, it, was, it was a lot. <laughs> we, did we talk about Baltimore, Dan? Um, yeah, we yes. did. yeah, we did a little <laughs> bit earlier. I'm kidding. We're good. We're I'm good. Kidding. We're at we're at an hour now. I I just I want I want. Oh, Jared's done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, Jared's done with the figures. We're at an hour. We're, we're, See ya. We've, you know we've we gone over an we hour. We didn't talk about. Uh, so there was a guy in a Kentucky state park or in a national park that was firing a gun into the darkness yesterday. I love that actually. And he said it was because he saw a Bigfoot. Really. Well, Sam Squinch. Yeah, yeah, Sam Squinch, yeah. So it looks like Bigfoot has migrated from the Pacific Northwest out to Kentucky. Uh, maybe that's his retirement home. I don't know. 
Yeah, oh, he wanted warmer share. weather. He wanted warmer weather. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoy that. He's tired of the rain. Here's the thing, though. Bigfoot can't live in warmer weather, right? I don't know. He's furry. That's too and hot. We real. actually don't yeah, know he that. Could get a, he could get a brooch. Yeah. He could get a brooch. So we don't even know if Bigfoot <laughs> is a dude or not. We don't. I've never seen his dong. I, I, I've seen an imprint of it in the mud. Uh, <laughs> somebody, it looked like he had fallen over in the mud, and they got a footprint next to the dog he print. He, he's absolutely right, though. No one's seen Bigfoot stick. No, no one has seen Bigfoot so here's stick. My, I want to see Bigfoot stick. I know what it Please. smells like. Ooh. Yeah, go ahead. What no, if you gave no. uh, big, I'm Bigfoot some it. Roman? I'm smelling like it right now. Like fucking four-day-old oysters imagine? Look, it would in be, the sun. It would be jarring, <laughs> would be jarring <laughs> enough to see Bigfoot, but what if he had like a fucking nine-inch hard dick, too? Ooh. Like he's just <laughs> yeah, walking, he walking through the woods, and you, you look at him, you're like, is that no. fucking Bigfoot? And you look down, oh, no, he's yeah. got a... No, and you run away, because yeah. he's got a rager, Holy and he starts shit. walking towards you, and now like you're, you're not, scared. I'm not trying to get in a fight with Bigfoot when he's got a boner. A Bigfoot rager would be awesome, though, wouldn't it? Bigfoot. Bigfoot.com forward slash drinking bros forward slash Roman. That should be our, yeah. our drinking bros. That should be our drinking bros Christmas party. The Bigfoot Rager. Ah, oh, Bigfoot yes. so good. Could you yeah. imagine? We all get we all get Let's together. Let's start a Bigfoot tradition at Christmas. Where, we should do where that. is it, Jared? Isn't it up by you in Washington or I cerebral think palsy? So. Some, somewhere around there. Cerebral what? You you live your city that you you're from. Is it cerebral palsy? What's the name of it? Paul's bow. There yeah. it is. Same thing. Um isn't <laughs> sure. isn't the Bigfoot uh kind of cave near you? I have no idea. Yeah, it's in, I think it's in Washington. I like Maybe. talking about yeah. it like it's real. I did. Too. Well, it is it's fun. It, yeah, it sounds, you don't. You don't think that Bigfoot's real? Uh, no. I, I think it's. I think it's totally real. <laughs> that was Bigfoot's it, obviously real, and it's obviously a dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How girls right, cannot why? keep a All secret. Right. Yeah, oh. that long. Big, Bigfoot's real, and it's 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 a real dude. Then why haven't we seen Bigfoot's dick? All the pictures they've taken of him, we've never seen his dick not once. Yeah, no, I, we haven't seen Bigfoot's dick. I told you we got that imprint though. We got that imprint. Uh, was he sitting Indian style? So you've got balls and then dick out in front of it? No, it appears as if he fell. Like he was running oh. and it was wet and he fell. Was he hard? Oh, God, this is just ridiculous. Well, it was flaccid, Jared. So if it was a boner, it just would have gone right into the ground and, and yeah. created a hole. Uh, so we do have a shot of it. It's uh, 16 inches flaccid is what the scientists say. Okay. Eesh. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do uh, yeah. primates have big dicks like that? Huge, big. It's Bigfoot, man. It's like Shaquille O'Neal. You, you know what they say about penis? big feet? Um, I mean, remember Freddie got fingered where he was wearing the spandex shorts in bed with Tom Green's mom. Do you remember that? And he's oh, yeah. flopping his dick around. <laughs> yeah. It looked pretty big. I want to see it. <laughs> Tom Look, Green's Daddy, dick? would you like some sausages? Yes. No, it was Shaq. Yeah, that's what uh, we said. Shaq. Yeah. yeah. No, Shaq. I haven't seen Freddie got fingered in years, man. Yeah, it's Shaq oh, is so in bed. You, you don't yeah. remember the scene? Shaq is in bed with fucking to Tom Green's now. mom. Yeah, it's been a long yeah. time. Rip, yeah. Tor- Rip Torn's crying. Yes. R.I.P. That's, Rip a, Torn, that's a great one. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you have to say R.I.P. for Rip Torn? Because it's already spelled out. Uh, yeah, it's Rip Nailed Rip. It. Yeah. <laughs> rip, 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 torn. rip, torn. <laughs> Thanks, Rip, for making me sound like I have a goddamn speech impediment. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right now, we'll go to top with Stacy with the weather in Washington. Uh, Stacy, what's the weather up there? Montana, chance of hail. Great. You betcha. God, always the best. Uh, you can always, always see, the best. You yeah. can only see Topless Stacy on the video show. Subscribe on YouTube <laughs> to the Drinking Bros podcast. Look, kids, we gave you the hard hitting news uh, as we do every week around here. This and is the best news show that there is. I mean, this is where you get the real news. It's where you get the facts. Yeah. None of the bullshit. None of the conjecture. None of the Don Lemon. You get the fucking facts here. Talking about yeah. Bigfoot's dick. Yep. Yep. And Baltimore being a piece of shit city. And sex robot sex rules. Sex robot rules. <laughs> yes, Jared. Thank you. Thank if, you. If thank you're you. out thank there you. and you know any Asians who are happen to be making these sex robots, get a Benicio, uh, just a Rimmer robot for uh, for Jesse, please. I'd love, I'd love to <laughs> see it. That'll be your Mother's Day present. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Perfect. Please open it in front of all the guests. <laughs> <laughs> for, I'm like uncomfortable right oh, now. For Jared. <laughs> let's get out of here. For Jared Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, Anthony, Jesse Wiseman. I'm Ross Patterson. This is Drinking Bros. Fake News. <laughs> 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 <laughs>